It's a classic story with a modern twist. Vancouver School of Arts and Academics presents Pride and Prejudice. It's been so much fun and we've put in so much work, so I'm very excited to have like people come and see it and finally get it in front of an audience. And while there's a compelling story on the stage, there's a pretty great one off stage too. Welcome to Work in Progress, I'm Erin Lark. This spring's production of Pride and Prejudice offers audiences a new vision for the Jane Austen classic, all under the direction of a VSAA alum. Miss Jane, but it beyond a doubt! The book is a classic, and several film and TV versions are out there, so you probably know the plot to Pride and Prejudice. Um, it follows the Bennett family, and specifically Elizabeth or Lizzie Bennett. She's kind of the only one in her family who doesn't really care about marriage or that kind of thing, and it's kind of a scandal at the time. Not wanting to get married and wanting to get married and what that's like for her as she falls in love with Mr. Darcy. This adaptation by Kate Hamill stays true to the original, translating it from the page to the stage. Seven minutes till places. Morgan DeCline was set to do the costumes, but when the original director had to bow out, she stepped in to do double duty. Getting to kind of come in as a director has been really cool to get to work with all of the different aspects and the different staff here because everyone is so talented and has so much to offer. Um, and so getting to work with tech and work with the actors and work with, you know, the costumers, all of it is just very exciting. Decline wanted a smaller cast, so she pushed cast members to play more than one role. As an actor and performer, that's like, I guess, a, a perfect challenge to play, you know, not just both genders, but like different roles that are completely different. So with that in mind, yeah, I, I wanted to do it, but also like, I, I was like, what would it be like? And also, would, it, would I be able to do it? Would it work? <laughs> what I like about Mr. Bennett is that he's very, um, it's very stable and subtle. He's just very, um, he, he literally just grabs his newspaper and just sits on his little lounge chair the whole time, which is nice because I can take a breather and just be the cool, um, supportive father in the background and not just like worry about everything else. Hi, Spy. Terribly dull in the head. I hate this kind of For Charlotte, it's kind of the complete opposite, but it also have the same character traits where they're also the very supportive, but they're very outgoing. Uh, and the, the fun part about it is switching between back and forth with costume especially, like one scene I'm literally playing both characters back to back so I have to like run in the corner real quick, switch back on my coat and then I put on like a little trench coat dress mm -hmm. and tie a little bun on it so uh, it's difficult but it's, it's very fun trying to like act that out and try to play it off cool. Decline knows firsthand that if anyone can pull off this acting challenge, it's the young thespians at VSAA. So I graduated from VSAA in 2014, um, and my focus while I was here was theater, um, which to now be back doing theater, back on, directing on the same stage that I acted on almost 10 years ago is a pretty surreal experience, especially since this school was my home. You go to VSA for seven years, you know the hallways, you know the teachers, you know the traditions. So to now be the one leading those traditions and getting to share my heart and my home with students is really a full circle moment. Getting to be an arts educator just really feels like, you know, you hit those dream moments and it, it works. She's been great. I think she kind of understands what all of us are going through because, I mean, she did this when she went here. Decline's senior project was a passionate defense of arts education, so her return to VSAA feels natural. Getting to be here instead of a student as a teacher, it kind of feels like I worked and I get to be this person that I've always wanted to be. So seeing like that she kind of followed the same path that I guess like I'm kind of planning on following is definitely like cool to see that she got to come back and kind of have all these opportunities. So it's definitely really cool to see. For me personally, I want to be a director. So having someone like an alumni from here, specifically from this like location is like super cool to have come back and like, okay, now they're in this position and role and they are taking on this responsibilities and roles and it's, it's, it's inspiring to know that it, it, it's, it's possible, especially here in the small town of Vancouver, Washington. So, Decline also works at nearby Discovery Middle School. She says she loves both schools and appreciates the differences that make them both so unique. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Erin Lark. Yeah.